There was no mask requirement at Friday's outdoor White House reception celebrating Judge Katanji Brown Jackson's confirmation to the Supreme Court. That's despite a spike in COVID-19 cases among top lawmakers and government officials, including House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who tested positive Thursday. Cases in Washington, D.C. have risen 56 percent in the past week, and hospitalizations are up 31 percent. The virus has not disappeared. The virus is still there. Health experts say vaccines are working despite the rise in cases in some areas. This is exactly what the vaccines are supposed to do. They're supposed to turn this into something much milder, much more like the common cold. The CDC said this week that nearly every U.S. county is still at medium or low levels of COVID-19. That's according to the agency's community levels framework, which takes into account hospitalizations. But according to the agency's old benchmarks, more than one in five counties are at either high or substantial transmission. Our ability to track the pandemic is shifting. A CDC official says the rise of at-home tests is affecting case reporting. For the person following along at home and wanting to know what's happening in their community, I think that continuing to visit your local county or state public health site to look at the metrics that they have there, that's still how I track the pandemic in my community. CDC officials say hospitalizations and deaths are still the primary metric of tracking the pandemic, but that data could soon be muddled once the federal public health emergency ends. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, New York.